Hello, my dear students, and welcome back. This is second intermediate level, upstream two, and this is unit seven. Today, we are going to study the last lesson in this unit. It's lesson 70, and the title is Dining in Style. All right, so what are the objectives of today's lesson? Again, we have three different objectives. So the first one is to identify words related to restaurants, while the second one is to use nouns and adjectives to describe restaurants correctly. And the last objective is to write a short restaurant review. So as you can see, these objectives again are related to one another and the idea is to write something, to write a review of a restaurant. Okay, now let's move on to the first slide. So this is the first task. Okay, in this task, I want you to think of this question. What is the most important thing to consider when going to a restaurant? Imagine that you are going to a restaurant, so what is the first thing that comes into your mind? Is it the price, for example? Maybe the type of food? What do you think? All right, now let's have a look at this page. Now, we have six different pictures, and if you look carefully at the first one here, there is a fireplace and there is a chair. So, what comes into your mind? So, this is atmosphere. So, the atmosphere means the feeling. What do you feel while being in a certain place? Do you feel relaxed or friendly? What about formal or cozy? What is the meaning of cozy? Cozy means comfortable. You just feel like at home. You are sitting at your home, having fun, relaxed, quietness, all of these things. Now, what about the second picture there? So this is a waiter. So if we have a male waiter, if you have a woman, you can say waitress. So this is service. So the service can be fast, it could be slow, it could be poor, it could be excellent. So when I say poor service, I mean bad service. Now what about this picture here? So look, there is the sea, so you can say the location. Where is the restaurant? So near the sea, it could be in the sea, or sorry, in the city. It can't be in the sea, or it, it could be if you are on a cruise, for example, so in the city, in a busy area, in a quiet area, so different places. Now, what about there? So these are the prices, or this is the prices. So what about the price? The price is expensive or high. It could be low, it could be reasonable. When I say reasonable, it's not that high, it's not that low, it's in the middle. Now, what about the Picture number four, what about picture number five, sorry? Food, so food could be tasty, could be spicy, could be plain. When I say plain, it's not that interesting, it's, it's normal, traditional, and tasteless. It doesn't have any taste. Okay, now what about the last one there? So if you look carefully at the picture, this is the decor, so it could be modern, it could be luxurious, it could be simple or unusual. So which one of these is the most important thing for you? For example, for me, I will think about food and decor. What about you? Ask yourself this question. So all of these are important, by the way. Okay, now, now we have many vocabulary. We have a lot of vocabulary in our head about restaurant and we need to use them carefully in the next slide. Now, this is the first task, so I just want you to read the restaurant review carefully, and you need to do something. You need to underline the main information about the restaurant. So think about food, think about decor, think about uh, location, and think about all of these things that we have discussed before. Okay, I'll give you one minute. Just have a look at the restaurant review. And by the way, this is a very short restaurant review. Look at it carefully and underline the main pieces of information. We will come back later after one minute.
Now, let's have a look at the uh, main information about the restaurant. So, let's go. So the first thing is fantasy restaurant. What is that? This is the name of the restaurant. It's something very important about writing a restaurant review. So you need to include the name of a restaurant, of course. Now, location. So it is located in the center of Manama. So this is the location. Again, this is another important information or another p important piece of information about the restaurant review. Now, what about food? The food is, or in the restaurant, is very delicious and tasty. Again, this is another important element of writing a restaurant review. Delicious and tasty, so this is the adjective for food. Now, what about service? The service is quick. So here we have another important thing about the restaurant review. And what is the adjective that we use to describe the service? Friendly. Now, the atmosphere. The atmosphere is another important thing. And of course, we have prices there. And this is the adjective for the uh, prices. And of course, relaxed is the adjective for atmosphere. I highly recommend. When I say I highly recommend this restaurant, so I really like it. I want you to go there and enjoy your time. So this is the recommendation. So you recommend something so that the other one do it or go there. All right, now let's move to the next slide. So what are the main elements of a restaurant review? Actually, we have discussed most of the elements and I just wanted to remember them with me. So the first thing is name and location. So you need to include the name and the location of the restaurant. The, the other thing is food. So tasty, spicy, look at these adjectives. You can use them to describe food and the restaurant. The other thing is staff, staff or the service. So we're talking about waiters and waitresses or staff. It could be professional, friendly, welcoming, and imply so this is a negative this is something bad so you don't want the staff to be impolite you want them to be polite okay service again you are talking about the waiters and waitresses here here you are talking about it in general okay so fast slow poor excellent so you are looking at it in a general sense the service there okay what about decor it could be modern, luxurious, simple, unusual. Atmosphere is another important element. You can say relaxed, friendly, formal, cozy. You can also say quiet or busy. Okay. Prices, high, low, reasonable. And the last thing is recommendation. And if you look carefully, they are in the correct order. So you finish your review with a recommendation. You recommend the place. Okay, now let's move on to the next slide. We have the second task. This is task number two. And in task number two, you need to describe a restaurant using these two categories or sections or elements. So again, when describing a restaurant, we can merge two parts into one. So I wanted to use food prices in one sentence. Okay, here's an example. The restaurant serves fast food at a reasonable price. So we used food, fast food, and we used prices at one sentence. How did we merge them? By using the word at. So we have one complete sentence. Another example, the restaurant serves different traditional French food at high prices. Again, we merge them using, uh, again here, the restaurant serves different traditional French food at high prices. Again, we use the same preposition. The coffee shop serves delicious cheese, cakes at low prices. Again, you can merge food and prices by using the preposition at. Okay, now, if you look here, these are the two things that we merged, food and prices. Now, what about having a practice right now? Now, you have food, you have price, 
and I already gave, gave you I, I already gave you two adjectives that you can use with food and one adjective that you can use with price. How can you put them in one sentence? And I and remember, I need you to merge these two sentences using the correct linking word or a preposition, for example, at. Now, you have one minute to do this activity. Okay, let's check your sentence now. So this is the sentence I'm expecting to see. So the restaurant serves spicy Asian food at a reasonable price. Now, let's move on to decor and atmosphere. So again, here are the examples. So the first sentence is the decor is classic and atmosphere and the atmosphere is formal. So classic, formal. So these are the two things that we merge together. And again, in this sentence, we used the word and. It's an additional linking word. So we use it to add more points, add more ideas. The same thing with the second sentence. The restaurant's atmosphere is friendly. In addition to that, the decor is modern. So again, you can use in addition to that if you want to add more points to the same sentence. All right, now what about having a practice again? So you have decor, modern, atmosphere, cozy. I want you to form a sentence, merging the two sentences, making one full sentence. You have one minute to do this and we will come back. Okay, let's check your sentence again. So this is the sentence, this is the correct sentence, the decor is modern and the atmosphere is cozy. Okay, now let's move to staff and service. So you have different adjectives here and the same thing with service and here are some examples for you. So the service is excellent and the staff are professional. The restaurant service is slow, but the staff are friendly and welcoming. Again, remember, we're talking about staff here. We're talking about the people who work in the restaurant. So what about the last one here? The service is poor and the staff are impolite. So this is a negative sentence. You didn't like your experience at the restaurant there. That's why you said poor and you said impolite. Again, let's move and have practice. So again, you have an adjective related to staff and an adjective related to service. You have one minute to write down your sentence.
Okay, let's have a look at the sentence. So, here we go. This is the sentence. The service is fast and the staff are welcoming. Okay, now let's move to another task. Now, let's move to task number three. In task number three, you need to read the restaurant review and note down the main parts of the review. This is a little bit different from the first one that we have seen before because it's longer and if you look at it carefully, it has three different paragraphs. So in each paragraph, there is a piece of information. Again, you need to note down, you need to underline the main parts of the review. Remember atmosphere, remember food, remember location, and all of the things that we talked about. You have three minutes to read it carefully and note, it, note down the main parts of the review. Okay, now let's check the main parts of the review together. So here we go. The Leo's is the name of the restaurant. And what about the type of the restaurant? It's a Mexican restaurant. Okay, and what about the location? It's located in Hamala. Okay, so it's an area, you know this area, it is in our country. So what about the, the uh, the other thing, food, it's delicious and spicy. So food is another important part of the review. And what about prices? Prices are low prices. And we have different type of foods. We have tortilla and burrito at low prices. So it's not that expensive. What about the service? The service is quick and course the staff are friendly cozy 
and quiet refers refer to the atmosphere at the restaurant and of course the decor the decor is traditional now the last thing as we said before you need to add your recommendation so let's have a look at it so the Leo's restaurant is a is a perfect place for having a special unforgettable meal so it's a nice place he is recommending this place okay now let's go to last task of today's lesson and it's task number four in task number four you need to put the points in the suitable paragraph so the main idea here is to focus on the layout of the restaurant review so again we have three different paragraphs and in each paragraph we need to add a particular a specific piece of information so what about paragraph number one what about paragraph two and what about paragraph three you have one minute and I want you to be very careful in choosing the correct answer this time we will come back later Okay, now let's have a look at the three different paragraphs. So, name goes in paragraph number one, the same thing with type, location. So, if you look carefully here, so optional, it's optional. So, you can add it, you can remove it, you can get rid of it, but I would recommend using or writing about the type of the restaurant. Now, what about paragraph two? Food, staff, service so all of these things are related to paragraph number two now we can also add atmosphere in the same paragraph and decor prices all of these things are related or can be written in the second paragraph of the restaurant review now what about paragraph three we are left with one which is recommendation and of course you can also add the opening and closing time but it's optional, so you can say this restaurant opens from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or you can also add the number of hours, so it opens 10 hours a day. Or you can write whatever you want uh, if you want to talk about the opening and closing time. Again, it's optional, so you can get rid of it. You can add it. It's up to you. So... Now, we have reached to the last task of today's lesson, and it's the most challenging one, but I think you are up to it. So, in this task, you need to write sentences, sorry, you need to write a restaurant review, including the following, all of these things. So, you need to add the name. Actually, I've, I, I've given you the name of this restaurant, so you need to write about this restaurant. What about the location? You need to add the location, you need to add the types of food, prices, atmosphere, decor, and your recommendation at the end of your writing. You can add your opinion. So, do you recommend it? Did you like this restaurant or not? Okay, and remember, you need to write between 70 to 90 words. It's not gonna be that long, but try to include all of these elements in your restaurant review. You have five minutes to finish this writing.
All right, great job. Now, I just wanted to go through these self-assessment points, and I wanted to put a tick if you have included all of these points. So if you, if you write about all the points, give yourself a tick. If you use correct adjectives and nouns related to food and the main elements, give yourself a tick. If you write three to four paragraphs, give yourself a tick. Again, you need to go back to the restaurant review, the model that I gave you, and follow the same steps. If you write 70 to 90 words, give yourself another tick. If you use correct spelling, so spelling is very important and you have to be very precise about it, okay? And you need to use the correct punctuation and capitalization. If you did this, give yourself a tick. And the last thing, you need to follow the correct layout. So the paragraphs and all of the important details in each paragraph. Remember that you can also refer to your student's book and read the restaurant review on page 72. That's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. See you very soon and stay safe.